welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for joining me. My name is Rhonda Robson and I am a fluid artist in the middle of the United States of America. Today I am going to be doing some bloom experiments. Okay, so number five. So this one I really like and it has the white cell activator. So let me get you down the canvas and show you how I did this one. Okay, so thanks for joining me. And if you're new to my channel, please consider subscribing and clicking that notification bell. All right, bye for now. Bye. Okay, another experiment for blooms. I want to do another one that I did earlier that I like the colors with. So let's go ahead and get our paint, our semi-gloss paint, which is our pillow paint. All right, so we're going to put purple down first. Then we're going to do our gold. Then blue, I'm gonna go ahead and use this darker blue. Last time I used like a little lighter blue. I'm gonna use this darker one. So when you put blue and yellow together and gold is a yellow, you'll get some type of a green effect too as well. And then let's put pink next. Actually, I think I'm gonna put this lighter blue first, just to have something separating the blue and the pink a bit. The dark blue and the pink, you understand what I'm saying? <laughs> okay. And then let's do our white. Ready? Here we go. Really pretty. So that white is really working well. Um, and it's Amsterdam white, and I tell you what, sometimes that Amsterdam, it does some really cool stuff. So I'm gonna actually take a picture of this. I love these colors. I'm glad I added that darker color in there. Wow, I'm just gonna let that kind of come back into the center. I 
I think we're getting better at the blooms. Yeah, look at that. Look at how cool that looks. How it comes back into the center. I love that. I'm going to put my glasses on so I can see it better. These are all metallic colors, which actually helps kind of some cool effects as well. So this will be the last weekend that I have my son back. And actually he's not here today, but uh, he heads back to college next Friday. And so we're gonna miss him. It's kind of been kind of fun to have somebody here um, over the summer again. So how I decide on where I'm going to be is I'm trying to stay away from a lot of this webbing that's already there and taking some of the white that's right there and out. So let's just create a little like that circle in the middle almost like now it really looks like a flower so <laughs> super cool okay let's go ahead and spin this out all right ready here we go Gonna try to get that into the center a little bit more again. I'm just gonna stop with this one, spinning it out. I like it enough. Um, I kind of like it to be more in the center here. So I'm just gonna tilt it a little bit while I've got this right here. Okay, so I think that's it for now. So this was the swoosh that I went down. That's the one that I did too as well. And then of course I made my little curly in the center. I'm gonna do a little bit more there just to leave it something. All right, well, we'll see how this one dries. Thanks for watching. And if you're new to my channel, please don't forget to subscribe and click the notification bell so that way you can get notified when I have a new video up. Thank you for watching and have a great day.